You black out as you fall, and it's coming to again amongst the warriors who were able to escape the battle. They carried you from the scene. You've lost a lot of good warriors. Not much left to do but push on. Crap! Only one stupid mistake on the battlefield and it cost much. Mogur comes to your uh, you sporting a door exp expression. There are more warriors than usual claiming illness lately. I don't think they're faking it. I've seen them vomiting or stumbling around. Humans seem to be suffering from something too. I can't prove anything, but I think some of the rations may have been poisoned. Before you can respond, he continues. Don't spread paranoia, it may be nothing. I found nothing wrong with the food, and most of us aren't ill. What do you think? Mm. I don't want to involve anybody else. A couple of hours later, Mogur comes to you again. I don't see any, any pattern to it. Some of the sick have faced dredge, while others haven't. Some admit to feeling tired, while others are well arrested. Aside from the pains, I don't know. We both agree to keep an eye out for anything unusual. Ludin has been sending scouts ahead, quicker and more nimble than your Varla. One rushes back just as you cross the hilltop of the breath. Dredge, that direction! You overhear him tell Ludin. About a day away, they found a village. You ask what they're doing. Tearing the place apart, he says. Maybe a thousand of them and more of them for gods know what. This will be a bigger fight than usual. Ludin is uncharacteristic. Uncharacteristic. Fuck me. Uncharacteristically silent. Waiting to see what you say. Long day passes, eventually the scouts returns, reports that they seem to be doing the same as before. Some move on while others take their place. All you learn is that they may be looking for something to devour devour in a village that has been picked clean. I don't know. Is that out a slow march moving as quietly as you know? Will be another half day before you spy the village. When they come into view, we will make a plan. With the village still a day away, you're eating on the march. A vital approaches. We had words earlier, says Chris. You will recall him claiming that he didn't care for your command. You were right in what you did. Let me join your guard and fight at your side. Pride hangs on his posture and sincerity in his eyes. You doubt his ability to do the job. Yeah, makes sense. I prove myself, he says, awkwardly taking his leave. You gotta say one shot. Have to be more cruel. We're close enough to hear dredge rattling through the buildings below. The village seems to slither. Pull them out of the houses, Mogor suggests. Slack can't resist an ambush. We'll have better luck in an open field. Send your shell bangers forward to get their attention. Before long, the dredge have gathered, ready to fight. Red line the battlefield, the weapons are off, or it seems inevitable. Oh crap, we lost a lot of men. Two forces are about evenly matched, there is no guarantee for victory here. 
to start comparing weaknesses and strengths, taking into account terrain, moral look of your own of your enemy. If you're careful, you should be able to keep your forces balanced. You start rallying your forces together, you realize to preparing to enter the fray. Uh, 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 yeah, it's the same shit again. Oh shit! What the fuck is this? What the fucking piece of shit is this? Fine. He is Tempest. This is bull crap. I don't want to play like this. A battle. Oh, no, no. Oh, shit. I really didn't want to do that. Oh, fucking piece of bull crap. Good. That was good. Okay, fine. Okay. It was an okay start. Oh, he didn't like it. Oh crap, she's done. Yep, that's why I wanted to move her. But I fucking misclicked. I just fucking misclicked. Hell yeah! Oh crap. It's not doing good. Hmm. Interesting choice of move. But. This will be fun. Cool. That was awesome. I can do this. I can feel it. Eric will uh, finish the job. Oh crap, he can. He reached him. I hoped he could resist. Bank. Deflected it. Awesome. And she's. Same! <laughs> oh crap. Have to miss a turn. Okay, that was easy to deflect. 
Oh. Alright, it, it was still fucking awesome. He has so many armors. I don't like that. In case of an enemy. Okay, let's go there and get some douchebag and stuff. Eric is doing good this time. Considering, well, you know, he's usually dying way too early. Okay. Die, Dredge. Fucking die. Bring the pain right on the cock. Alright. At least they kill if he killed one bastard. see the problem and here's another problem and goodbye dredge Is in my way. I don't like this dude. Let's destroy that shield quickly. Too strong right now. But let's change that. I don't like him either. Fuck you. I'm gonna die now because of you. Dredge kills. Thank you for the advantage. You take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. You can take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dredge fighters save a few lives. You won't have time to rest. It was a huge mistake last time, so let's regroup. The dredge give you the wide berth and shatter into the distance. Not good. It's not a good reason to be honest. But I'd rather lose uh, some than lose a lot by a huge mistake. Bodies blanket the area as though the snow itself had turned black and red. You walk with a cluster of survivors taking account of your warriors. One group of survivors catch your eyes, smiles on their faces. As you approach, they call to you. Not a battle lost here, says one. Thanks 
this hideous monster you see Chris leaning on his shield battered and bruised but smiling so you won't give me a chance Hacken? let mother know you'll be joining us sorry Chris you look like, uh, looks like uh, who are you again? <laughs> Gives a wide grin, an honor. He says and heads off tomorrow. Well, he proved that he can handle some battle. Please give me an option to promote people. Yes. He wandered through the small village where there had been the cacophony of battles before. Now an eerie silence hangs over the place. Bodies of dredge and villages make a macabre path to houses that have been ripped apart as if it by uh, a tornado. Ursa stops in her tracks. He hear that? She all but whispers. It sounds like crying. Soon you discover a trap door partially hidden by a carpet. Open the hatch, of course. A woman's scream dies in her, th in her throat at the side of Varla instead of dredge. Men and women both are huddled together. A baby cries on her mother's shoulder. They are clearly waved to see many warriors. What do we do now? they ask. They can stay if they want. They are paralyzed with fear and loss of their homes. There's not much left to the village, but you don't push them. You settle in for, uh, to rest for a moment. Alright, just... Okay, heroes. Chris. Okay. I'm actually... Glad we can add more... I want to promote him like that. I want to have at least five will points to everybody at this point. Okay, I don't think, yeah. Want to promote him? Improve your ability. Cool. He always dies, so I wouldn't mind to have a better shield for him. Chris was just added. Oh yeah, he was promoted too. That would be more useful. In my opinion, looting. Is a useless boss, so. And Ursa. Okay, we're done. How about the market? Nah. Shit, let's continue our march. We have plenty of food, so... You hear a shout echo on the wind, a standard Varl greeting. The caravan of Varl are heading your direction, probably a few hundred in total. You meet them halfway. Good. We need... Reinforcements. Badly. You must be with Vornir was. Wagner didn't make it. You serious? It's getting grim out here, but didn't expect that. You flying with Schlid Banner? What's happening? Isn't Ulfar in charge there? I'm Fasalt. Ulfar still in Schlid. In case he needs to be, he sent me to meet Wagner. Well, you. We've seen nothing happened in Schlid yet. What do you mean? No dredge. They never came through Schlid. They're all pouring out of Ridgehorn. We only just found out about it. One group went, went, uh, went that way. We came here. 
bridge on the fort and the bay. The place has been abandoned for hundreds of years. Yeah, maybe that's why they're over there. By all accounts, it looks like another damned invasion. Looting forces way into the conversation. Wait a godless minute! What did you do? Careful now. You be careful! What did you start? You think men don't remember history? The long banner hangs in our barn. The second great war nearly screwed us all. Screwed us all. What did you do this time? Who the fiend this is? Nobody. <laughs> No one to worry about anyway. Ludin's head swive swivels in your direction, eyes wide. He seems uncertain whether to be insulted or threatened. What orders did Ulfar give you, vessels? I'm supposed to offer any support you need. Yes, yes, yes! I've got 330 bottle behind me. Oh god, yes. And Ulfar wants to know what's happening at Richhorn. What's your plan? Uh, we were going to Grofheim. Richheim? The words stick in your throat. Why did you say Richheim? You meant Grofheim. Mogur gives you a perplexed look. Something is weird. To reach Horn. You can't explain exactly what just happened. You're getting that tingly feeling like before, like the dream. Ludin's inane barking pulls you back. I'll have my vowel fall in line. Here's the command, Hakim. Are you insane? He just said an army of treasure pouring out of their farm. Go on to Grofheim then, Prince. Having your blood on my hands would be worse than doing nothing. This shuts Ludin up for a moment. You can see the battle raging in his head. He looks desperate for safety, but he didn't expect to flee like a coward. He expected you to come along, he glanced at his men. We are already this far. If this is what's doing, I'll go of it, and so will my father. Besides, you need my help and my fighters. If I go, so do Ursa and Betsy. Ludin's Unexpected flip-flop catches you like a swift kick to the shins. Mogur can contain chuckle. Ha! Huh. Huh. The prince's courage. Mm. <laughs> this would be this would be the best option, but I feel like we should do this. I'd rather you stop acting like the one in charge of me. What kind of a lies is this? Oh god, I hate Ludin. These are warlands. We're facing an army of dredge. How much experience do you have in these matters? True. Mankind has never provoked them into a war. You're going for a third. Is taunting the dredge into genocide a game for your kind? I don't have time for this. You curse and threaten pandemonium. The prince has chosen to be no responsibility of yours. If Ludin stays, so do Fassel's warriors to join the caravan. Awesome. Mogur, I felt something odd a few moments ago. Tell me this isn't a dream. If it is, you've got some crappy dreams, Hakon. True, true that. But we have a good army now. I mean, we lost some serious falls and we get thousands of them, not thousands, but hundreds. Mogul finds you this time in a hurry. They find out what's wrong with the sick while, he says, clutching his gut. Ate some of it myself, he says. Food's not poisoned, but it is spoiled. Bad fish and, uh, getting more, so, uh, wish I didn't just think about that. We must have got it from a merchant back near Verfa, he says. Mix it in with the good stuff. Could have messed up as much as it was half our supply. What do you want to do? Uh, 
Uh, we need to lose some, but I would don't want to lose most. Margot frowns, but agrees. The tainted food is tossed down a hill that won't attract attention. He reports back. Taken care of, but we get more ill fighters than before. At least 40 at the moment. What do you want me to do about them? Um. Yeah. Margot goes to spread the word. Damn careless merchants. You hope this will be end of it. Oh shit. Really lost a lot of food. Where is the fucking city anyway? The hike approaching the Gutstown is murder. You recall how much Gutstones were built on hills overlooking the other Gutstones, so the travelers could follow them and find their way between cities. It does nothing to ease your pains. Dredge! shouts Mogur near the front of the caravan. Suddenly, black. Rocks are whistling past your head. What the hell is this? You sh what the hell is this? You shout. Mogur shakes his head. A stone slams into the shield of nearby Varl, exploding in a flash of light and razor sharp fragments. Get behind the shield banger! Get behind the shield banger! Shouts Mogur as you approach for a fight. There's iron battlefield. Yep. Uh, okay. Even from here you can see nervous glances amidst the enemy ranks. This looks like a good chance to press your advantage. Yeah, you should charge. I think we should do that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. She was weak, and I didn't like him too, so... Can I have some information about this gentleman? No? Alright then. Okay. 8-8. Eight, eight. This isn't a tough battle. This is a good formation. Battering ram. I want him in the middle. Okay. I'm ready. Way this out actually. It's an okay formation for now, so hello, my friend. That's what I feared. Oh, come on! Come the fuck on. Hmm. Interesting. Never mind. Okay, I don't like this one tiny bit. You won't like this. All right. Um, let's get started. Hi there. Did I hurt my own? I I can't tell now. Goodbye. It's done. Oh. 
That was cool. Let's bring the pain. That's it. That was shit. that much oh shit I his armor is not good so I'm not gonna do that with a good armor I would have chose this way but not like that my friend not like that oh I'm going to like this a lot hello my friends stop it you fucker Okay, it's not bad. Let's kill him. And we did it because I asked him politely. I always forget that they are moving away if you heard them. Maybe it's not a smart move with a attacker or um, an archer, sorry, I don't know why I didn't say that. No mind. Hello my friend. Prepare to die. The dredge might be strong, but man, I like these ones. Hello. We're so staying this time. Goodbye. Something didn't work, but let's bring the pain on the crutch. But this is some serious crutch pain, if you ask me. Okay. He just said thank uh, hi to him. What the fuck? What the freaking fucking freaking. I cannot attack him, so let's 
rest a little bit. I'm gonna murder you. I think I'm just kidding, but... It's the way to it. No oh, crap. Fuck you. Oh, or I will fuck you up instead. Deflected your shit. Hello. <laughs> There was some serious shit out there. No, we're not bringing the pain, actually. We're just killing the dude. Take the moment. Yep, yep, yep. Let's try to kill some more, actually. <laughs> 